Hello everyone, my name is Chef Evan. I'm the co-founder and director of Lavon Academy of Baking Science and Pastry Arts. With me I have uh, Chef Anosh. Chef Anosh, please come and join us. Um, together we are going to make a kick-ass cookie recipe. What do you have in your hand? Uh, how about peanut butter? We can make something with peanut butter. Yeah, what time favorite. And dark chocolate of course. Of course, yes. Yeah. And uh, what chocolate are we using? Uh, let's use 54% coverture. Um, Duke? Yeah, let's use Duke. It's, uh, it's a brilliant, it's a good brand. Uh, Amazing. Yeah. Let's this is it. something everyone can do at home. Easy. And it is a glove. Super easy. Yeah. Super easy. Yeah. Very easy to execute. Um, there's no goof ups. Yeah, not at all. Not let's at do all. it then. All right. Let's get into baking. Let's get into baking. Amazing. Okay. Guys, so uh, for this recipe, we need about 100 and, uh, 110 grams of butter. Uh, we need about 190 grams of uh, caster sugar. Yeah. Then almost about 100 grams of brown sugar here. Yes. Yeah. And uh, no eggs. So instead of eggs, we are using condensed milk. Yeah. That's almost about uh, 50 grams. Yes. Okay. And uh, then we are using uh, vanilla essence. We are using uh, baking uh, soda. Yeah. Okay, that's almost about uh, 2.5 grams, that's yes. a half teaspoon, yeah. okay? About uh, 2.5 grams of salt, salt yeah. 5 grams of uh, vanilla essence, mm -hmm. and uh, flour almost about, uh, how much flour we have? 160? Yeah, about that 160 much. grams of uh, flour, yeah. and the main ingredient that we are using a kuvacha 54 uh, percentage uh, Duke kuvacha chocolate uh, for today's recipe. Absolutely. And also we have forgotten our, our peanut butter. And that's uh, about 100 grams. Yeah, that's right. Let's get baking. Let's get baking. Okay, guys. So this is going to be a simplest recipe that anyone can do it at home. And uh, we are very familiar with all these ingredients. Absolutely. But the only thing that we have not tasted till now is the is the chocolate. We, what chocolate? Kuvacha chocolate from, from Dukes. Dukes. From the Dukes. So this yeah. is a 54 um, percentage kuvacha. Yeah. Okay, so we are going to add all our butters inside. We Absolutely. have two types of butter here. Yeah. That is the normal butter. Yeah. Let's do this. So the butter goes in. What a magic happens, you know, when we combine it in a different way and when we bake it. It's absolutely super. Butter. Okay. This is uh, peanut butter. Peanut butter. Oh, again, you're you not allowed to taste time. Okay, I won't. Right. What goes next? It's two types of sugars we have. We have yeah. brown and white. Either or. I'll add the brown sugar. Yeah, I'll go for That's that. My and there goes the caster. Caster sugar. Okay, meanwhile, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, add the baking soda yeah. and also the salt. Alright, while you do that, I'm going to start uh, creaming the butters and the sugars here. Yeah? Amazing. What do you call this process? It's called creaming. Why we cream the butter? Uh, so what we're going to do is, when we cream, the sugar cuts through the butter and helps incorporate air. So it becomes lighter. So the What light, happens to the air? The air gets trapped between the butter. Uh -huh with the help of the sugar. The sugar cuts through the fat and it's replaced by air instead. So the so the, it gets fluffier and fluffier and fluffier the more you cream. Amazing. Yeah? Sounds yeah. good. So I will just uh, recap what we did. We added both the butters into it. That is the normal butter and the peanut butter. Yep. We added the brown sugar yes. and the, the normal sugar. That is the cashew sugar we are using. Absolutely. You are free to use any type of sugar. Yeah, any you can. Type of you can sugar. use on all, all white sugar even as well. Even the coconut sugar. Absolutely. Or, or even the palm sugar. Absolutely. Um, and then we are creaming this. Once this is creamed, when it is, everything is amalgamated, melanged well, yes. that is the time we are going to add the condensed milk. Absolutely. Um, here the condensed milk, we are using it as a substitute for the eggs. Egg, so yeah. if the egg recipe says 50 grams, we are using 50 grams of condensed milk. That's what we're doing. But what I did was, uh, I removed 25 grams of uh, white sugar from this, mm -hmm. because the condensed milk is uh, on its sweetest. Absolutely. So I removed about 25 grams of normal sugar from the actual recipe. Yeah. But you guys follow the same recipe what we are showing you now. So, and I added um, the same quantity of the eggs. Yes. So the sweeteners, 
is not that much. It is, it is good for yeah, the palate. Yeah, it's not too sweet. That's right. Show to them how, how it looks like. If you look at it, how me. the color has changed, it has become pale. That's what happens when you when you cream. So the air, once the air is entrapped, the color sort of goes paler. So if you keep on whipping even more, the volume is going to increase and it will turn even more lighter towards more towards beige in color. Yeah, that's what happens. Crazy. Great. So now once it is uh, creamed properly, when the, everything comes together, then we are going to add the color. Yeah. yeah. So clean as you go, right? Absolutely. And sir. clean and clean. Thank you, sir. I think we're ready for a condensed milk, sir. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, we are adding our condensed milk into it. It is very important to organize the kitchen also the way uh, while you bake. True, very true. I mean, uh, that brings out the, the the actual chef in it. Yeah. Watch it. Yeah. I think it's always well, like while working, it's always been a thing like clean as you go. Absolutely. Because yeah. you don't accumulate a lot of things at the end, so you finish a task, you get it out of the way, and then you move on. Exactly. Let's add the vanilla. I think. Yeah. Um, this is actually a chemical extract. You can use the yeah. the, the natural vanilla Absolutely. also. Yeah. This is actually vanillin now, uh -huh. not vanilla. Yeah. yeah. So I'm adding the, the the vanilla essence to it. Okay. So light, like really? you can you can hear it. Totally, yeah. What do you think? Should we should we continue with this or you? you you want it is to good good enough to um, the fold in the flour and uh, yeah. add in the chocolate. Chunk. Okay, so um, what I do also is um, a little trick. Mm -hmm. um, anything that you add, I coat it with a little bit of flour. Okay. So that this won't go down. Okay. This will be easy. While 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 um, you are making the dough. Absolutely. Okay? Yeah. So this I'm just coating it a little bit of flour yeah if you got if you want to have a closer look what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around the bottom of the bowl turn over and then get in the center go around and then come back in the center so what this does is it doesn't over mix the flour yeah you gradually fold the flour in like a cut and fold yeah you fold and you cut in the center yeah I think the best part of the life chocolate Oof. I'm so happy that uh, we could do this video together. Absolutely. How do you reckon? I'm very excited. I love peanut butter. I love chocolate. Peanut butter is like has been a breakfast staple like since forever. It's mm. it's super easy. You just take a piece of bread, you toast it, you put peanut butter. And also and a little bit raspberry. Absolutely. Oh. Crazy thing. I'll just show them uh, how does it look now. Yeah. Okay. Can you see the 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 cookie dough? Everything has combined together. Yes. You can see the chunks of uh, chocolate in it. Yeah. And uh, that's how it looks.
perfect though. So this goes inside our refrigerator. So where are we now? Uh, it's been in our chef. That's it's been right. in the fridge. See, it's, I think it's a lot more have easier you, have to you, handle. Have you, have you weighed this? Oh uh, yeah, it's about 50 grams each. Okay, so the entire dough we have to divide into 50 grams yes, each. Yes, exactly. And then we are going to shape this? Shape it, yeah. Have we uh, preheated the oven? Yes, the oven is ready. The okay, oven so is preheated. You we have preheated it to 180. 180? Yeah. And we are going to bake it at 180. Yes, absolutely. Anash, we have made a lot of cookies in our life. I know. A lot. What do you feel about this? What do you think about this specific cookie? If I'm going to put this in my mouth, it is going to burn my tongue. Uh, absolutely. So we need to let it cool down on the tray itself That's right. a while, yeah? Yeah. So, um, I think uh, those who are listening to us should, I mean, like to know about the science of cookies. Yeah, why not? Why not? Yeah. What? Like, could you just share a few So, tips, uh, you details? remember the, what all ingredients that goes inside this? Yes, I remember. What all? We creamed the butter and the sugars together. We had some peanut butter in okay, there. Okay, so what happens to the butters and what happened to the sugars? So, I'm, I'm guessing that once it hits the hot oven, uh, the butter starts melting, the sugar starts melting, um, the baking powder starts reacting. Hmm. And, so, uh, at around uh, 32 degrees Celsius, so you, you know the butter is an emulsion. Yes. Which is Two, two people who doesn't like to stay in a house. Yes. It's water yeah. and it is fat. Yeah. So at 32 degrees Celsius what happens is that um, the water mm -hmm. um, slowly it gets okay. bubbling up. Mm -hmm. It's like heated up mm -hmm. and at 100 degrees Celsius it converts into steam. steam. Absolutely. The fat spreads the entire dough. Yeah. That's what exactly yeah. happens. We, we, can, we can see it. Exactly. How it has, the, yeah. the spread. Yeah. And the, the water that is mm. going to convert into steam, okay. that is the one which is cracking the entire dough. What about the egg chef? Like we spoke about uh, the other recipe. We spoke but about this recipe this we are recipe. not using the eggs. Exactly. Yes. But if you are using the eggs, yeah. it acts as a binding agent. Alright. Okay. That. So 100 degrees Celsius, what happens? The water converts into, I mean it starts boiling yeah the water converts into the steam yeah the steam is going to give you uh, it 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 goes to the walls of yeah. the cookie and it yeah. is going to give even more crack. cracks you see how the how the chalk wow this is brilliant look at this the chocolate is sort of melted. this is this is too good this is heavenly and it is raining outside once the cookie comes out I think I think uh, we have to leave it outside yeah what that's do you right. think that's yeah? right but we are too hungry that we Absolutely. have to eat one yeah. and see. Yeah, it's it's the right, the duty, the responsibility of the chef to taste it. Exactly. Otherwise, don't do it. You got to leave it for some more time. Mm -hmm. um, allow the entire steam to escape from it. Absolutely. And uh, then when you taste it, it is going to be even nicer. Yeah. It will be even more nicer mm -hmm. if you are going to taste it tomorrow. Yeah. Absolutely. What do you think? Yeah, I think so too because it'll it'll take some time so that the flavors will develop more, and uh, yeah, I think it'll taste even better the next. Guys. We want you guys to go and try this recipe at home. This is going to be a super delicious cookie. Yeah. And um, stay home, stay safe. Absolutely. Ciao.